All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Acer Aspire A515-54 series, model number N18Q13. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, there's actually another model number here, A515-54G-53H6. So I'm not sure what it's actually using. Anyways, we're going to completely disassemble this thing. There is a battery reset button here for if something gets shorted out. You can push, the, there's a little pinhole here. If you use a needle or like a small bent um, paper clip, you can use that, press and hold that 10 to 15 seconds and you can uh, basically do like a, almost like a BIOS reset, all right? Sometimes that helps if the computer isn't turning on. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and remove all the screws. Keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. I put them with the flat side down like this on my table in the pattern that I remove them. So here if I go across, I'm going to take out three along the top or along the back hinge. Okay. All right, then we're going to go here and we got four along the middle here. four out all right and then we got four along the bottom as well so remove those four as well okay so this one is having charging issues so we'll see what's going on most likely the charge port is broken because the chargers seem to be okay all right, so I see a little gap around here. So we're gonna try and pop the cover up. You can try with a suction cup first if you want. So try and get that and then hold down the other edge there and see if you can pull that up. And it doesn't look like it's gonna come up that way. So let's see how we can pop this out. All right, so what I'm going to do, let's see if I can figure out which way the clips go and get my fingernails in this gap and see if I can pop it that way. No, okay. So what I'm going to do, open the screen to have it hold itself up like this, get my fingernails in there, and then I'm going to push with my thumb on the back here, okay? Just like this. Oh, I'm getting a phone call, and it looks like I have to pull from the other side as well. All right, I'm getting a phone call, so I'll be back in a bit. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Customer was here. All right, so anyways, what I was doing was I was pulling here and using my thumb to push on the palm rest, not on the trackpad, and then also pulling this out, all right? So just like that, as you can see, it's popping out. Once you get it, you can go around. You can continue like pulling this cover up as you kind of like use some pry tool or your fingernail underneath, all right? Just like that, the cover came off. Okay, so here we go, not too bad. There's only one slot for RAM here. So this is, you just pull these two tabs to the side to remove the RAM, all right? The stick of RAM will pop up. Be careful, it's gonna sling up, all right? Just like that. Once it's up at an angle like that, you just pull it back. And here you can see PC42666V, all right? So you can put any PC42666V RAM you want. There's a four gig stick. I don't know if there's RAM integrated into the board. If it has more than four gigs, then it has integrated RAM all right because this stick is four gigs so but depending on your model you might have an one with an eight gig stick or a 16 gig stick all right then you got an m.2 ssd here um, i don't know why this battery is kind of just loose wiggling around here so i guess the customer um, when they dropped it it popped out of these there's little feet here that are supposed to hold itself in place so let me take the battery out here so let me see here, we'll peel this sticker off. So this battery just has these little wings holding um, the connector. So let me show you how to remove this, all right? So just use your fingernails or some pry tools or maybe tweezers, grab the wings and then kind of just wiggle it just like that and it pops out, all right? And then to remove the battery, let me zoom out. Normally what you would do is you would go under these and you would lift up here, okay? There's some tape here so you wanna be careful. But normally this battery, these little feet here should be tucked under, but actually there are no 
Huh. Let me try peeling this tape up and then see if I can. So I'm going to peel this tape off. Okay, we're going to lift this up. And it looks like there's actually no place for these little feet to go. So I guess it's just the pressure of the case that holds it in place. Well, anyways, we got the battery out. Battery model number here, AP18C8K. All right, battery model. There's nothing on the back. You got the keyboard connector here. I'm not going to pop everything out because there is some a little bit of risk to taking these things completely apart. Um, but it looks like this connector has these little wings that you kind of pull out, all right? So when you pull those two wings out, it, it's just a latch. You don't want to yank it completely out. You just pull it slightly forward, and then that will release the grip of the uh, connector, and you can pull that out. Then you got the trackpad cable here. It comes out just by flipping this latch up, and you can pull the cable out. Um, you got this connector here. This is for the two speakers comes out just like the battery You just grab the wings and you just wiggle it and it pops out. All right You don't want to yank too hard. Just kind of wiggle it You got the CMOS or the BIOS battery same thing as the others just wiggle the connector and it will pop out All right, you got the m.2 SSD here. So there's just one screw holding it in place Take the screw out once you do that you can lift it slightly up like this at an angle and then you can pull it back and this SSD is a PCIe uh, NVMe SSD, um, 512 gigs. I don't know if that's standard. Some customers, they upgrade their things. So the hardware, I'm not sure what comes standard, but it is a PCIe NVMe SSD. So if you wanted to upgrade it, just make sure you get another PCIe NVMe SSD. All right. You got the keyboard backlight cable connector right here. You got this connector here which has a USB and a headphone jack, as well as the um, LEDs. Oops, hopefully you could see that. All right, so that board is for that. And you got the LCD LVDS connector. If you mess with this connector, make sure after you disconnect the battery, open up the computer, and then press and hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds right here, all right? Right. If you mess with the LCD LVDS connector and you don't do that, there's a good chance you can fry the circuit over here. Okay. All right. You can fry that. You can fry some components here. CPU, GPU are soldered to the board. Can't replace them. Fan connectors right here. You just grab and wiggle. There's two screws. It looks like holding the fan in place. Um, the charge port looks like it's soldered in here. So if I want to, um, change that it looks like I would have to um, remove the motherboard or logic board completely which will be kind of a costly repair so I'm gonna have to check with my customer and see what they want to do let me remove the screws here for the hinge and I'm gonna open up the hinge here I want to be careful with the LCD connector there but we're gonna lift the hinge up out of the way and then I'm gonna try and check the pins to see if I'm getting um, uh, a connection there okay so we got the center pin let's see if I can do this so what I'm going to do we're gonna take the voltmeter here and we're gonna set it to ohms which basically it's testing resistance if I remember electronic stuff correctly <laughs> but anyways um, so I'm gonna touch the center pin inside the charge port and then touch the back here and see if it goes there we go so it's reading, so that means it's connected, all right? Then I'm gonna check here, and it looks like that's connected too. So let me try and check the connection on the outside. There we go. So it looks okay. Let me check this as well. That all looks fine. So I don't know if it's just his charger itself. Let me see here. I don't know if it's the charger itself, that's not um, good because it's not a solid connection. It's not a solid fit. So it could just be that the connector he has is loose or maybe the pins in here aren't as um, tight as before. But anyways, we're gonna put the this hinge piece back down. Okay, make sure you're not smushing the LCD or LVDS cable here. Tuck it underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Tuck it in there and then do that. All right, we're gonna put those two screws back in. All right, make sure they're tightened down. Oh, my screwdrivers. All right, I'm gonna put some 
oops, sorry, knocked my camera. I'm gonna put some blue thread locker in here just so that these threads hold tighter because sometimes the hinge screws come out and then that can be an issue. So we'll put some of this. Tighten that into place. Then after that, I'm going to check the charge port itself and see if anything can be done to somehow, um, I don't know, make it so that it can reach. All right, we're done with the thread locker. Let's go ahead and put the battery back in. The battery doesn't have any screws or anything holding it in, so you just kind of drop it in place. Oops, let's zoom out. All right, move the tape for the connector out of the way. Drop that into place. All right. Get the battery connector, line it up, and squeeze it together. There we go. Okay, we're good to go. Got everything reconnected. We're going to go ahead and put the cover back on. So very simple. Just push that into place, and then just snap everything all around. Just like that. All right, and then we're just going to put all the screws back in. So it's just doing a quick look inside. If I do have to replace the charge port, then eventually once I get the replacement charge port, I will um, be doing the video again where I completely take the motherboard out and then we will use some uh, a heat gun or soldering iron to replace the charge port. All right, so get those three and then get the four across here. Let's flip this over. Oops, I forgot that one clip. I was wondering why it was kind of popping up a little bit. All right, check around, make sure all the clips are back in. Looks good. And that's pretty much all there is to this. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Share my channel with others. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Um, I'm going to try something with the charge port, but off camera. I'm going to see if I can pull these the little tabs in here. I don't know if you can even see them. But there, there's metal tabs in here. So I'm going to try and pull these outwards a little bit and see if that's the reason it's not getting a good connection. All right, anyways, I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.